Now, McGuffey at Washington, a big thanks once again to the student photojournalist of Waynesburg University for the highlights. First quarter, the Prexies already ahead by 7-3 to three when Logan Carlisle connects with Reuben Gordon. This scoring play will cover 57 yards to put Washington in front by a score of 14 to 3. And the little Prexy's not done yet. After a defensive stop, Washington turns to the ground game. Davon Hughes, who torched the Highlander defense for a 66 yard touchdown, wash high up by a score of 21 to 3. However, McGuffey starts to turn the tide. Following an interception, they go to the ground and they go to a guy by the name of Philip McEwen. Watch this, holding on to the football at quarterback. He'll take the ball 24 yards down to the wash high four yard line. McEwen would complete the drive with a short scoring run. From there, McGuffey would outscore Washington by a score of 34 to three and win this game 43 to 24. Leechburg at Greensburg Central Catholic. If the visiting Blue Devils win, they will earn a share of the Eastern Conference crown. First half, Greensburg Central Catholic's QB slips in the end zone. That's a safety, it's two nothing Leechburg. After the free kick, Jane Floyd takes it into the end zone, and Leesburg is up by 9-0. The Centurions, though, were sensational after that. Deshaun Craigette, watch him break free over the middle, and watch him take off for the Greensburg Central Catholic touchdown. And in the end zone, a big shout-out to the Aquinas Elementary cheerleaders. Now, after an interception by the defense, the Centurions offense, they drop a bomb. Tyree Turner to Samir Crosby. Dive and grab as he goes into the end zone. They're up 14-9. Then watch this. Turner to Nate DeLugos. Watch the incredible concentration. The juggling one-handed grab carried the defender into the end zone with him. It is 21-9. Now, Leesburg would cut into that lead, but Greensburg Central Catholic wins the game 48-21, and they win the conference title.